Hello everybody and welcome to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. Today guys, in Unreal Engine 4 I'm going to go over some basic information about emissive lights that you guys can use in your projects. As you can see here I have a point light in my uh, scene here and what I'm going to go ahead and do is simply take this cube here and I'm going to make it be whoops smaller like so and maybe a little bit longer and this is just basically going to be a fluorescent light on the ceiling now obviously normally you would use a actual model uh, that you would then fill um, one specific material on actual polygon geometry for your emissive lighting but we're gonna go ahead and do it this way just because it is a little bit simpler to do so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click here in the uh, main folder and go to material and I'm gonna just name this flow light alright now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply that here to this specific model this uh, point light is basically going to act as the placement so that we can kinda see what's going on but I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off for now now let's go ahead and go into our flow light material here I'm gonna simply place it up in here and as you can see here, I now have this uh, blank project. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna go ahead and hold down three and then click one time to create a base color. And I'm then going to change that to flat white in color. Now, as I do that, you see it uh, creates a nice white on my uh, material. Now, the next thing that we need to do is create an emissive color. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy and paste this and I'm then going to hold down M to create a multiply and then I'll drag and place that into the emissive color. Now when I do that you'll see that we get this little bit of glow on the outside of this uh, geometry here and I'll go ahead and select box because it allows you to see a little bit more accurately what you're actually doing. Now one of the other things we can do is actually click here and uh, uh, on multiply and we are given this constant B value and I can actually drag this up to say like 5 and you'll see that the fluorescent light emit amount actually becomes a whole lot more so what I'll do is I'll set this around 2 see how that looks and I actually like that at about 3 and I'm gonna stick with 3 for this example and that looks pretty good now you could change this color to whatever you want um, you can make it be a blue color if you're looking for something a little bit more like that and then you would have to adjust the values accordingly but I'm just gonna stick with white because for me it works pretty good as actual fluorescent lights so I'm gonna go ahead and hit apply and now when I go into my map here you'll see that uh, it's updating over here on the right but as soon as it's ready you'll see it, it kinda snaps into view here and as you can see it's actually emitting a little bit of that glow around everything. Now one of the reasons that this does this and it may not be doing it in your project is because of my post process volume. If I go down here to the settings and I go to the bloom you can see here if I put this intensity and I up that it allows me to have more glow for my scene. The only problem with this is it affects the entire scene so make sure that everything all of your materials and everything have relatively the same amount of lighting. Now what I'll do now is uh, go down to that point light that I had set up because now with that point light set up it actually looks like it makes sense on my uh, scene whereas before just having a random light for no reason kind of doesn't make sense. So what I'll do is I can now hold down my alt key and just drag a couple of these out along the ceiling like this and you can see that it, uh, is, whoops, it's starting to take shape and actually look like something in here now. Okay. Now one of the other things that we can do um, is go by the sphere reflections. And right now, if I zoom out here, this entire area is surrounded by this box. But you can't really see anything because of the floor here is just a simple material. So let's go ahead and create a new floor material. And let me drop that onto here. And now what I want to do is go ahead and open up the floor material. 
And like before, I want to do a constant color on the base color. And I've decided to go ahead and just make this be kind of a bluish color, something kind of opaque looking like that. And you can always add in textures, tiling, things like that later. But for now, I'll just stick with this. Now what I want to do from now is hold down the one key and click. And I'm going to place this into my roughness. Now roughness is basically just another name for reflection. And you can see here at zero, it's like completely reflective. So what I'm going to do is set this to 0.02 or 0 0.2. And what that'll do is it'll only make it be about a little bit reflective. So I'll go ahead and hit apply. And now in my scene, when it updates, which will just take a second here, you can see now we have some reflections on the ground and it's actually reflecting our light, okay? But it's not actually reflecting these uh, too much. It's, it's, it's really only doing the light itself. So what we need to do is go back into the floor material and if we go ahead and place this back at uh, say 0 0.8, which would be even more reflective, uh, or not, no, no, hang on, at 1.0 I mean. Uh, 1.0 is, is no reflection and 0 is total reflection, my bad, I'm confusing the issue. Um, and then if I actually create another one of these and I place that under my specular map and hit apply and go back in here, you'll see it's it, it, it'll actually start reflecting these physical light beam uh, fluorescent lights a whole lot more. So as you can see here, whoops, I must have went the wrong way. Da, 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 da that is one and put this as oh there we go all right so the mid specular has to be at one and then the reflection roughness at zero and come on computer let's go taking so long there we go now you can see those reflections are much more accurate um, but part of the problem is actually our uh, reflection map here under spherical reflections and we need to update the captures of that and the influence radius whoa adjust that a little bit and that's starting to look a little bit better so now if we actually build the lighting which will take a couple of seconds here uh, because the computer is going slow with the recording software on. Um, but uh, you'll see those reflections really update and look a whole lot more realistic and a lot better. And um, But basically, guys, I wanted to show you emissive lighting, just basics for it. You could use this to create a neon sign. You could use it with an alpha map to create um, like digital board, sci-fi style, that sort of a thing. Um, there's really a lot of options that you can use with emissive lighting. You can even make tracks on the ground with an alpha map and decals so that you can actually have uh, uh, like a, a system that shows the player what direction to go, things like that and that of that nature. Um, but really guys, that's the basics of emissive lighting. Um, what it really comes down to is just you guys messing with all of the settings that we've kind of went over a little bit and figuring out what works best for you. So once you've figured out your basic settings and what you're actually looking to do, it'll end up looking a whole lot more realistic. And uh, I think you guys will be happy with the results. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and just let this play out here. Uh, we're only at 6% of the building of lighting, which is really slow compared to um, when I don't have recording software going. Um, but unfortunately with the recording software that I'm using, there is no way to actually pause it um, and come back to it. So uh, at least I don't believe there is. Uh, let's see, yeah, there's, there's basically no way to do it at all, as you can see here down at the bottom. I'm just using Open Broadcaster to do this. So um, it is kind of a bummer, but it is what it is. And uh, you know, but building the lighting, and uh, it'll, trust me, it'll look a whole lot better at the end. So I hope you guys enjoyed this lesson. Make sure to hit that like button, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.